everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. This time I've <coughs> sat down today since this morning. I was sitting down for a little while this morning, but I've been out in my garden all afternoon. Getting the weeds off my patio, so my patio is now clear. But I really needed a rest. I think all the work I did yesterday was telling on me today. <laughs> the number of times I was bending up and down and then <coughs> bending up and down today and the, to get the weeds out. But I was going to do my large patio and then down the path down the front of my, down the middle of my garden. But I only managed the... Not so much bending down as well, but I use one of those tools, you know, like um, like shaped like that, with a hook thing that you push down into the um, the cracks and the pavings for the, to get the weeds out, and keep doing that all the time and pushing it down and pulling out. This really made my wrist ache, worse than what crochet does. So I had to do that. Was had to give it up for the day. I'll have a go tomorrow. Hoping the weather's going to be just as nice tomorrow, so I'll get it done then. So I am busy sewing up the the sides on the. I've done that side on the thingy, and this side here <coughs> to close up the sides on the uh, the pouches. And all I do when I'm doing that is I sew. I'm using a needle, and I go in the. The stitch down the side here, I go in one side of the stitch, like that, on the part that's the inside part of the stitch where they're facing each other, and just pull the needle in and I come out the other side and just backwards and forwards on that, that stitch there, that that's how I close up the sides. I may do a tutorial on this one day like a tissue would probably because it will be a bit awkward for you to see what I'm doing on there. But I have almost finished sewing this one. I put the lining inside of it. You can see the flowery lining. That one's done. I'll put that down a minute. <coughs> that one's done. It just wants a strap made. I put the poppers on. The first time I've actually put the poppers on in one go, didn't waste any. I found out with these that is a knack to it, to doing these. Because most of them, I was putting them on and when I was shutting them, like that, when I was pulling them off again, either that bit was coming off or that bit was coming off. And you have to, when you put the... um. The little gadget thing over the top, over the top of that to press it down to, to shut it. You have to get a hold of the, the material and pull it down as tight as you can so that the little point inside is pushed as far up as you can before you snap it. And that makes it spread out better inside the, the thing so it doesn't come loose. So I found out there is an act to doing it and Hopefully I'll be able to do it a little bit better. So that's that one. That one will be for sale on my EB shop, but I won't be putting it up to Friday because I'll be getting that 70% of selling fees on Friday. So I just have to make a, a strap for this one. I'll probably make the strap for it to go across the shoulder because more people seem to prefer the, the strap going across here instead of the one coming down the, the front. But I do sell these, if I sell them off eBay, if I sell them myself through emails and that, I sell them for £8. But if it's on eBay, they'll be up for £10 because I will have selling fees to pay on um, eBay where I don't have that if I sell it myself. So if anyone wants it before it goes on to eBay, just send me an email and I will send it to you after I make the the strap for it. That's that one. And this one, 
the lilac one that has the same oh is it <laughs> has the same lining inside that I put inside that one and these measure seven inches from there down to there seven inches and from across there is four and a half inches and I make them so if anyone wants to put them in with a case which most people seem to so I make them large enough for the case and when you do that you have to allow for that extra on the bottom so my phone measures from there to there is six and a half but I have to add another half inch for that bit going across the bottom and the same across the top and the same with the sides but you have the case you have extra on the sides that's why I used to do them about four inches but I do them four and a half inches wide now and mine is a Samsung my phone so it fits snugly inside there and there is still a little bit of room you can see I can fold it a little bit slightly bit of room it's not tight inside there is room for maybe as if you want to push a pen down the side or something like that you can get that in as well and then just snap it shut I can get it and there it's inside the case so that's that one anyway and but someone messaged me about <laughs> Tom Daly the swimmer you know he was actually doing a um I think it was a TikTok, I actually saw it on TikTok. He's making his own little case for putting your uh, phones in. And somebody said to me that mine were much better, so. <laughs> so Tom Daly, mine are better than yours. I have a lining in. <laughs> Put that on there and that, shut that. So eat your heart out, Tom Daly. Can't do them as good as I can. And my phone was charging. I don't know if it's fully charged, fully, fully charged. I took the charger out to put it in here. So I just have to sew that one up. But that one, there's no rush to send that one because the lady said she's away on holiday and she doesn't want it sent until she comes back off holiday. So that one would be sewn up when... before she comes back off holiday so I'm just finishing this sewing this one up I'll split that stitch there trying to get it through I'll just finish sewing this side off and then I'll show you what else I've been doing. I have to turn it inside out to put the thing, just pull that little bit tight to tighten up the, the edge and then push that inside. I can get inside this, I have to turn it, turn it inside out to, to finish off the to fasten it off because you don't want to see the how it's fastened off. I just turn it inside out until I get to the, the stitch and that's where it's stitched down the, the side there and then I just stitch it down on the inside and I've just <laughs> unthreaded the, the needle I just thread it through three times and knotted three times and that secures it and it won't come out Where's my scissors? There. Oh, 
my needle back in there. So that's it fastened off inside there. Just turn it the right way. So that's what the side looks like and it's stitched up. It's just slot from one side to the other, just go through that side to that side and then come back from that side to that side and that side to that side and that side to that side. That's all I do for stitching up. Just need to put the poppers on and make the strap for that one. And that one is for Dorothy, so I'll be sending that one to Dorothy uh, when I get it all finished completely. And I was doing a little bit crochet this morning. I've started another set because I have to look in my book to see who this one was for. I just did a little bit this morning uh, before I went out in my garden. This one is for Katie. She wanted ask me to do one either. I always do white because I have a lot of white chunky. That's what I bought all the white chunky for, for doing these things. And then I mix a colour with it. And she said for either orange or pink. So I've mixed a strand of it's two strands of pink. Actually, it's double knitting because I only have chunky in the um, the white and an odd one or two other balls that I can use. I think I have some blue chunky and so if I have to use double knitting, I've got two strands together because I'm not sure whether two strands of double knitting make chunky because double knitting is eight ply. Aaron is 10 ply and I don't think I've ever seen it written anywhere where it says for chunky how many ply chunky is so I've just thought well it's 16 ply putting two strands together that should be thick enough and it is because I've put the two strands of the pink with the white this is the smallest one the smallest ball I'm doing and it is quite stiff like it's supposed to be for the um the little balls. So I have this one to do for Katie. She also wants me to do one for her mother, I think she said. Either purple or plum. I think I have some purple that I can put two strands together to put white for Katie. So that's what, what I do in the mornings. I do a little bit crochet or a little bit things, little things in the morning. So that's why I've started that one. But I had done a little bit. This was last night. I've started the um the sleeve. That's the um the cable. And I'm using my three <laughs> or three here. If whichever one I'm using, I'm using the smallest one at the moment. So I've just stack them all inside each other and put that down at the side of me but if i'm using a, a larger one i'll be taking two of them out and using the larger the larger one but it's easier like that at the moment so that's how far i've got with the um the sleeve on that one so i'll do a little bit more of that one tonight but i wanted to get those little Bone pouches sorted out and ready for the send out because I have been doing them for quite a, um, a while and I haven't done any more of my side on that one that's when I finish the finish with these ones these are all done I'll be doing little bits like this in the uh, the morning as well as the the little bit crochet like that as well and it's been saying it's been another lovely day, but it is very windy today. I've got my windows in the living room open and the wind has just blown my curtain. It's actually blown a draft onto me. The wind blown through the windows making me feel cold actually. 
But anyway, I'm having a cup of tea. No, it's not tea, it's coffee. I'm having a coffee before I do anything else. It is now four o'clock. Anyway, I've finished in my garden for today, so all I'm going to do is just sit and knit or crochet or whatever I'm doing tonight. It'll be a little bit of the white, the white one I'll do before I do my tea. I'll do a little bit more of this one. It's getting a bit longer. Do a little bit more of that one before I get my tea and then I'll go on to the green one again. <sighs> so that's my bit for today. So thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another day. So bye for now.